Hi, I'm Natalie Rhodes, and this is Into Math's fifth grade, module 14, lesson six. I'm going to start off by going over the ICAN objective. It says, I can add and subtract decimals by using reasoning and strategies involving addition properties or friendly numbers. The learning objective is to use strategies based on properties and reasonings to add and subtract decimals. The prior learning is that students fluently added multi-digit whole numbers, and they fluently subtracted multi-digit whole numbers. All right, let's go ahead and move into the lesson. We're on page 359. We start with a step it out. It says Kyle finds two games that he wants to buy. What amount does Kyle pay for the two games? So if I'm going to go to the store and I'm going to pay for the two games, I know that I'm going to be adding the two prices together and then paying that total. So we are doing addition for this problem. The bullet point says find friendly numbers. It says add three cents to the price of dark embers. So I'm just going to pause there. A friendly number is just a number that makes it really easy to add so that you can do it in your head. The reason it's telling us to add three cents to dark embers is because if I add three cents to 1597, it would be $16. It would be an even 16, which is way easier to add in my head and even 16 than it is 15.97. So if you're going to add three cents to one of them, that means you have to subtract three cents from the other. You have to balance it out. So it's almost like you're taking three cents from the second game and giving it to the second one. So it says subtract three cents from the price of gold synth scythe. What are the new prices? So for dark embers, if I gave it three cents, it's going to be $16. Then if I took away three cents from the second one, if I took away three cents from seven, that's going to leave me at four. So it's going to be 13, 44. So then what is the cost of both games? I'm going to go ahead. You can add these over to the side, or I'm going to show you how they want you to do this mentally. So in the ones place, I have a six here and a three here. In my ones place, I'm going to have a nine. So if the decimal is here. And then in the tens place, I have ones. So one plus one is going to be two. I have nothing in the cents for the $16. All I have is the 44 cents. So all I'm going to do is add 44 cents to the total. So now I have $29.44. I could add that, but I didn't have to write them off to the side. So the second bullet point says, is this the same as 1597, the original, and 1347? Yes, it's the same amount in both. I'm just transferring money. So I'm going to say that. I'm just transferring the amount. So for B, how much more does dark embers cost than the gold Scythe. So find friendly numbers, subtract 0.7 from the price of each. The reason we're subtracting 0.47 from each is because for the second one, it'll make it an even 13. And it just so happens that if I subtract 0.47 from the first one, it'll give me an even 50 cents. So what are the new prices? This is going to be 15.50 and an even $13. So what is the difference in price? So if I was going to be subtracting, I would do 1550 minus 30, 13. So if I take 13 away from 15, I just have $2. So that's going to be $2 and 50 cents. Is this the same as the originals? It's going to be the same answers before. We're just saying yes, because we are just decreasing equally. All right, let's go ahead and flip the page. We're going to be on page 360. All right, so we have a step it out number two. This is Kyle wants to buy three accessories for his club's gaming system. He writes 32.75 plus 11.98 plus 24 Point twenty five to find the total cost. Those are just the three from the chart. 
And then in A, it says Kyle notices that 0.75 and 0.25 from the first and third add-ins have the sum of 1. So he notices this 75 and this 25 are going to be equal to $1. He uses the commutative property of addition and the associative property of addition to regroup the add-ins to add them first. So originally, he had the first, second, and third price here. Here's the first, second, and third. He kept the order. He just moved the parentheses, and that's the associative property. In the second one, because the two numbers are in the parentheses and because we're adding, he just flipped them. So the order here of the two changed. Still the same numbers. Then the associative property, again, is just moving the parentheses. So now it's the same order, but now the parentheses have moved back. So now the 32.75 and 24.25 are in the parentheses. So we want to rewrite the sums as an expression with two add-ins. This just means add what's in the parentheses and then add the 11.98. They do this because the 0.25 and the 0.75 are gonna give us that one whole. So see if you can add these numbers without writing anything down. See if you can work it out in your head to what 32.75 and 24.25 would be. They are gonna be a whole number because remember those cents equals one whole. Then can you add the cost of all three accessories? Again, try to do this in your head if you can. If not, of course, always write it down on a piece of paper. All right, go ahead and just try to do these two blanks and then we'll come back and solve it. Hit pause here. All right, great, let's go ahead and solve these two. So if I was gonna rewrite the sum of the expression with two add-ins, I'm gonna take my 32.75 and 24.25, I know that the 75 and the 25 are gonna be one whole, okay? So I know I just have to add one at the very end. So let's look at the 32 and the 24. My ones place is two plus four. I know that's gonna be six. And then my three plus my two is gonna be five. So I know I have 56, 56 plus that one more for the cents is gonna be 57. So I'm gonna have 57 and then I'm just gonna tag on that 11.98. Now what's the total cost? Again, if you were doing this in your head, just add your 57 and 11, just up your five, up your seven by one. So that is gonna be 68 and then you can just add your cents at the very end. So it's gonna be 68.98 and that's how you would do it in your head. Of course, if you wrote it down, that totally works too. All right, go ahead and solve the rest of your problems and I'll see you back here for module 15.